2 billion tons that's the amount of trash all of us together generate every year and according to estimates if all of this waste was put on trucks they would go around the world 24 times and most of the waste is created by items which are trashed within 6 months of buying them so which are the regions or countries contributing to it usa is the leader here 395 million tons every year followed by china at 265 million tons followed by india at 190 million tons but if we see the per capita waste generation india is not so bad it is virgin islands which tops the list with 1.38 tons per capita of waste generation followed by denmark at 0.84 tons usa at 0.81 tons hong kong canada uk japan all of them are ahead of india in india per capita waste generation is around 0.14 tons per annum and by 2050 all economies will grow the amount of waste generated is expected to hit 3.4 billion tons and it's the high income segment that creates the highest amount of waste 34% of the total which is followed by upper middle income class at 32% low middle income at 29% and low income class is small at 5% out of the total waste that is produced plastic is just 12% isn't it surprising because we usually think of that to be the bigger problem The biggest one is food and grains at 44%. Food wastage is a global issue and should not be taken lightly. Paper and cardboard is at 17%, glass at 5%. We also have rubber and leather which is a small amount here as well. Waste collection rates in high income countries and in North America are near 100%. In low middle income countries collection rates are about 51% and in low income countries about 39%. In low income countries uncollected waste is often managed independently by households and may be openly dumped burned or less commonly composted as well improvement of waste collection services is a critical step in this case to reduce pollution now when we are talking about waste collection we also need to talk about how is this waste that is collected treated globally well numbers are not very motivating out of the total waste generated only 33% is sent for composting 23% goes into landfills 11% is disposed by burning recycling is only 7.7% rest is sanitary and controlled landfills sadly 75% of the waste generated in south asia is openly dumped and as per some reports only 30 to 35% waste generated gets scientifically processed in india world bank says and i quote uncollected waste and poorly disposed waste have significant health and environmental impacts The cost of addressing these impacts is many times higher than the cost of developing and operating simple adequate waste management systems. Now, if we go by sectoral wastage, industrial wastage has to top the list with 12.8 kg per day of generation, followed by agriculture then construction, hazardous segments is the next one. Medical waste is low at 0.25 uh, kg but it has increased substantially after covid almost by 40%. Evas though small also has a big impact currently at 0.02 kg India has a huge waste issue in the country and with more population economic activity it is going to increase while government agencies are taking steps to ensure proper waste management we can start at home as well and remember while waste can be recycled it is important to reduce waste as well it goes a long way first of all most important is to segregate waste at source into dry and wet waste used materials which can be used again and again so instead of using a paper or a plastic cup use your own cups wherever possible compost it is best solid waste disposal method when it comes to households experts have estimated that 30% of waste generation can be reduced by using the composting process at home it's a new year why not start with the resolution to manage waste better and ensure we generate less waste reduce and recycle that should be the mantra and more policy push in this case will only aid the cause